Hi again everyone, Scott Player Pop Cult Fan here, and welcome back to my series of horror reviews leading to Halloween. And now, this Friday is Friday the 13th, which is unfortunate because I have school so I can't do any reviews on Friday, but I will be doing my review for Friday the 13th, <laughs> for the Friday the 13th, <laughs> get it? Because I'm doing Friday the 13th. And I'm going to talk about the movies as a whole, like the whole franchise as a whole, because there's like 12 movies, and I don't feel like doing 12 different uh, videos uh, reviewing every single Friday the 13th film in the franchise, I don't feel like doing that. So I'm just going to give my quick thoughts on all of the movies in this video. So there are the first eight movies um, that came out between 1980 and so-and-so. Uh, Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. I forget what year that came out, but it was like during the 80s mostly. So, yeah, for the first eight movies are Friday the 13th Part 1, Friday the 13th Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, The be uh, Final Chapter, Part 5, New Beginning, Part 6, uh, Jason Lives, Part 7, uh, A New Blood, and Part 8. Jason Takes Manhattan, those are the first eight movies, and then they made the Jason movies, Jason Goes to Hell, and Jason X, <laughs> Jason X, jeez, and um, then they made Freddy vs. Jason, the crossover between Freddy and Jason, so there's that one, and there's also the Friday the 13th 2009 reboot, which is eh, but there are some aspects of that movie I do like. Um, let's see. So the original film. In the original film, we all know this because we watched Scream. The killer is not Jason Voorhees, not in the first film. The real killer is Jason's mom. And yeah, uh, what's her name again? I think her, the actress's name is Betsy Palmer. She played Pamela Voorhees, the f original killer in the first Friday the 13th movies. In the first Friday, the first film. And, yeah, the, like, the original film is a classic, while at the same time it made movie, slasher movies of that generation gory, I guess, and formulaic after that, you know. Uh, slasher movies became very formulaic and stereotypical and cliche. <sighs> so, yeah, um, Friday the 13th, the original film is okay. I mean, it's a good, it's a classic, but it's not great. It's definitely, I mean, it's much more cliche than Halloween and Psycho, you know. It's not, it, it follows a group of teens, they're trying to survive in, this, in these woods, Crystal Lake, and, I mean, it's an okay, it's, it's a good movie, but it's not in any means a great horror film. I mean, there are definitely better horror films out there, um, but better horror classics than Friday the 13th, in my opinion. But yeah, then there's all the sequels. I don't want to talk about them too much, but Friday the 13th Part 2 was the one that introduced Jason with the bag on his head. And then Friday the 13th Part 3 introduced his mask, his iconic uh, hockey mask. And then throughout the rest of the movies, he'll have that hockey mask f forever. And it's like one of the most iconic images in popular culture, I guess, in the horror genre. So yeah, uh, Friday the 13th. So, the first eight movies, not too much, I don't, I don't want to say too much about those movies, but they're, they're okay. I mean, they all follow the same formula, with the exception of probably Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh, because every single one of those first eight movies follow the same exact premise a group of teens in the woods getting killed off one by one by jason and they're they're all so formulaic they all follow the same premise with the exception with the exception of the last film jason takes manhattan that one's different because you know jason is killing people on a boat and then the boat finally arrives in manhattan during the third during the final act of that movie so we really don't see uh, Jason in New York all that much, just in the last act of the movie. And, yeah. <laughs> so, those are the first eight movies. I don't like all of them. I like 
I guess I like the original film, and I like a couple of the films in the middle. I like uh, part six and part seven. I like those. I like part two and part three. And I guess I also like... Yeah, I do like part four. Well, I guess I like all the movies. It's just... They're, they're just very formulaic. Okay, so Jason Goes to Hell was... Um, I think he was directed by the original director of the original film. I think his name was Sean... Uh, S. McNamara, I think that was his name. I think I, I don't. I don't know. But Jason Goes to Hell was a very different movie. Jason, uh, well, I mean, he doesn't. Well, I guess he does. He gets. He kind of literally does go to hell. And then, of course, at the end of Jason Goes to Hell, we saw Freddy's glove take like taking Jason's head down to the ground, and he's in hell. So there's that, there was that setup at the end of Jason Goes to Hell. And it's just a very different movie because Jason gets killed like in the, at the very, in the very few minutes, first few minutes of that movie. And for the rest of the movie, he's possessing people like a ghost. So it's just a very different movie. And it's, eh, I don't really like that one that much. Uh, Jason X. Uh huh has some of the most creative kills in the series. Um, and it's a funny film because it takes place in space. <laughs> and it's the 10th film in the franchise, as you can see in the title, Jason X. But yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, I don't like that one that much. Uh, Jason X, it's... Eh, it's weird. I don't like it. It's too uh, humorous, I guess. I don't know. It's eh, for me, that one. And then, of course, there's Freddy vs. Jason, the crossover of both Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street. And those, I think that movie is pretty good. Uh, I mean, I like all the battle scenes between Freddy and Jason, but the actors that play the main characters are very shallow, very stereotypical, and eh, eh. <laughs> um, it's okay. I like Frey vs. Jason, but there are parts of it that I can't stand. Like the main characters, the main human characters. And then, of course, there's the last film that came out, uh, the more recent one, the 2009 reboot. Um, I don't like that movie that much, but I like parts of it. Like, I like Jason in that movie because he's more terrifying. He runs towards you. He puts bear traps. He shoots arrows. Like, Jason is much more... Uh, what should I say it? He's more like a, a hunter, in a way. Because he's, he's putting bear traps everywhere. He's throwing arrows. He's... <laughs> running towards you. Jason is terrifying in this in the 2009 reboot. <laughs> That's like one thing I like about the movie, but like other than that, it's uh, it's hard to talk about these movies because they're just eh compared to other horror films that are more, you know, well made. So I don't know. The, the 2009 reboot is eh that's really all my thoughts about all the movies in general. I just wanted to give my thoughts on all the franchise, of all the movies in the franchise leading up to this Friday, because this Friday is Friday the 13th. And yeah, those are my thoughts on Friday the 13th. That is going to be it for this video. I'm not sure what my, I will review next, but they'll probably be this Saturday because I have college classes tomorrow and Friday, so I can't do videos tomorrow or Friday. I will do get another video up on Saturday. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Bye everyone. Peace.